What are the best cities to live in near Charlotte, North Carolina? Many of my clients ask me this very question. That's exactly what we're going to discuss on today's video. Just to be clear, the suburbs are going to be the cities located right around the Charlotte area, not necessarily the neighborhoods inside Charlotte. In order to review the top suburbs here in the Charlotte area, we're going to look at a list put together by Niche.com. What they do is they gather a ton of information every single year and put a list of the top suburbs in some of the major cities in the United States. And Charlotte happens to be one of those cities. And to create these lists, Niche.com uses dozens of public data sets and millions of reviews to compile a list and they give each community a grade. They also use this data to give different aspects of the community a grade, such as schools, activities and lifestyle, cost of living, and overall safety. So guys, let's review this list of the top suburbs here in the Charlotte area. Let's jump on in. Number 10 is Stallings, North Carolina. It's a small town nestled between Indian Trail and Matthews, North Carolina. Residents love Stallings for its family-friendly atmosphere, its good schools, and proximity to the Charlotte area and Monroe. Niche.com gave Stallings an overall rating of an A. They said A- minus for schools, A- minus for housing, a B for outdoor activities, and an A for good families, and a B for cost of living. When you call Stallings, North Carolina home, you're about 25 to 30 minutes from Charlotte City Center and about 35 minutes to 40 minutes from the Charlotte International Airport. Niche.com had the average price point for a home here in Stallings at $291,000, but the average price point is actually closer to $507,000. And Stallings has several desired neighborhoods like Callenwood and Chestnut Oaks, where families can enjoy spacious homes on manicured lawns with fantastic amenities. And if you are looking for a newer home in a newer community, they have some great new construction options like the courtyards on Lawyers Road. So if you wanna live in a smaller town while still having great access to Matthews, Indian Trail, Monroe, and Charlotte, definitely check out Stallings. They got some great neighborhoods. Coming in at number nine on the list is Waxhaw, North Carolina. It's a super cool town with rich amenities, a ton of history, and it's just a super cool vibe overall. Waxhaw is a little bit more rural and is a little farther away from the Charlotte area, but I'll tell you that rural aspect is changing rapidly, and they also have a really cool downtown area with some fantastic boutiques, restaurants, that you can just walk around and grab a nice bite to eat with the family. Niche.com gave Waxhaw an overall rating of an A, they give it an A for schools, A minus for housing, an A for families, and a B minus for the cost of living, with a B minus for outdoor activities. When it comes to location, you are a little bit farther outside the Charlotte area when you call Waxhaw home. You're about 45 to 50 minutes away from Charlotte City Center when you call Waxhaw your home. And again, that will vary quite a bit because what's considered Waxhaw is a pretty large geographic area. So you could be a little bit closer to Charlotte, but a little bit farther rural as well. But I will tell you, one of my favorite things about Waxhaw is when you're driving through, there's still a lot of really small two lane windy roads that you're gonna pass very large estates and also farms as well. So it's a really nice and relaxing drive to and from Waxhaw. Niche.com said the average price point for a home here in Waxhaw was $383,000, a little bit off. The average price point's actually $794,000 for a single family home. And again, Waxhaw has some fantastic communities, super rich in amenities as well, but you're gonna find some variability as well. You're gonna find some older communities and also some more rural homes as well. And one thing that really determines price point in Waxhaw is your proximity to Charlotte. The closer you get to the Charlotte area, you're gonna usually see that price increase quite a bit. And if you are looking for some fantastic communities to call home here in Waxhaw, you definitely wanna check out some great communities like Millbridge, Lawson, or Providence down south there's some great communities with some fantastic amenities and Waxhaw North Carolina is a really magical town you have a nice mix of history with modernity and it's all situated in a small town vibe you have fantastic schools a great walkable downtown area so what's not to love number eight on the list is Matthews North Carolina just southeast of Charlotte North Carolina actually right on the border of Charlotte super close to where I currently reside myself it's a super cool town that has a fantastic downtown walking area that has some fantastic boutiques and some great restaurants. Niche.com gave Matthews an overall rating of an A. They gave it an A minus for schools, B plus for housing, C plus for crime, an A for families, and B plus for outdoor activities, and a B for commute. 
and Matthews is very desirable for its location and proximity to Charlotte. You're just 20 to 25 minutes from Charlotte City Center and about 25 to 30 minutes from the International Airport, making your commute a breeze. Niche.com had the average price point for a home here in Matthews at $299,000. So again, a little bit off. The average price point is actually closer to $550,000, which is pretty attractively priced to be this close to the Charlotte area. But I'll tell you that price point's growing pretty rapidly because the Matthews area is one of the fastest growing suburbs in the Charlotte area. And you'll find a decent bit of variety in Matthews. You're going to have some new construction communities. And you're also gonna have some communities built all the way back in the 1950s and 1960s and everything in between. You have some great condos, townhome options, and some fantastic communities to keep an eye on as well. And if you're looking for that historic vibe as well, right in downtown Matthews, you have some great historic homes too. And it's got a nice hometown feel. So if you love walkability, if you love being in a small town super close to all Charlotte has to offer, then you definitely want to check out Matthews. Coming in at number seven is Cornelius, North Carolina, which may be one of the most impressive gems on the Queen City's crown. I'm actually a little surprised this one didn't rank higher on the list. Nestled right on Lake Norman and with over 70 miles of shoreline, Lake Norman is at the heart of the lifestyle Cornelius lends to its residents. Niche.com gave Cornelius an overall rating of an A+. They gave it an A for schools, B plus for housing, B plus for outdoor activities, an A for families, and a B minus for cost of living. Cornelius is just 18 miles north of Charlotte City Center, actually right above Davidson. So you're about 30 to 45 minutes away from Charlotte City Center. But again, that expressway on I-77 makes it a little bit easier to get to and from work or wherever you're going in the greater Charlotte area. Cornelius is home to some of the highest priced real estate in the greater Charlotte area, but there's a lot of great options and the variability in pricing here in Cornelius is fantastic. You can find homes around the $500,000 price range all the way up to 3 million plus for your mega mansions. The average price point being $972,000. And you have some great condo and townhome communities that also offer that kind of waterfront living all the way up to your mega mansion sitting right on Lake Norman, giving you instant access right in your backyard. So you'll definitely be able to find variability and something for everyone right here in Cornelius. And Cornelius is home to one of the most luxurious and well-known neighborhoods in the greater Charlotte area, the Peninsula, a luxurious waterfront and golf course community right at the heart of Cornelius, nestled on Lake Norman. Coming in at number six is Harrisburg, North Carolina, just northeast of Charlotte, between Charlotte and Concord. Harrisburg offers a cozy blend of small town appeal with big city amenities. You have some great parks, greenways, shopping, and a fantastic community vibe. Niche.com gave it an overall rating of an A+. They gave it an A for schools, A for housing, A plus for families, B minus for cost of living, and B plus for outdoor activities. Harrisburg is also nestled right by I-45, giving you fantastic access to all the greater Charlotte area has to offer. You're just 25 to 30 minutes away from the Charlotte city center and about 30 to 40 minutes away from the Charlotte International Airport. Niche.com has the average price point for a home here in Harrisburg at $321,000. It's a little bit off. The average price point's actually closer to about $505,000, which will get you a single family home, four bed, three bath, around 2,700 square feet. And there's a ton of family friendly communities you'll absolutely fall in love with, like Abington, Bloom, and Holcomb Woods. When you call Harrisburg home, you're gonna have spacious open surroundings and some top rated schools as well. So you definitely wanna keep this one on your list. So guys, what are your thoughts on numbers six through 10 on niche.com's list of the best suburbs here in the Charlotte area? Do you agree? Comment below. And stay tuned for the next video where we review the number one through five on niche.com's best suburbs here in the Charlotte area. We've also shot a ton of videos and put together a lot of websites on many of these communities we discussed today. And we'll put links in the description below that'll take you to our website that shows the video and gives you a ton of great information. If you found a community you love and wanna do a deep dive in it. And if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate here in the greater Charlotte area, myself and my team would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So feel free to give me a call, text, or email us, carrier, pigeon, whatever works best for you. We'd love to have a conversation and see how we can help guide you through your real estate goals. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.